What's up, fam? How you guys doing today? I'm alright. Weather's a little funky, you know. Got my nephew spending the weekend with us. Shit, it's pretty cool. He likes to learn shit from his Uncle Bob. So anyway, I wanted to talk for a minute, man, about what's going on. So, I was, like, added to a fucking group on Facebook that's, like, supposed to help, where everybody's supposed to, like, fucking help each other, like, try to build a, a following or whatever. So, I fucking accepted the invite just to see what it was about, and I was reading, you're not even allowed to, you're basically not even allowed to post in the group. You can't share a link, you can't share your channel or anything, but this is a YouTube group. So I was reading the guy's posts. He's got like six fucking posts. And they all talk about how as soon as he reaches a, a thousand member threshold, his plan is complete or whatever. Well, I was looking at his fucking posts and every post emphasizes the fact that you're not supposed to share your channel, share any links, or anything. Not really sure what this fucking group was about, but... I'm pretty sure the admin of this group and maybe his buddy that's helping him because he's the one other guy helping him are doing this to boost their channel or something, their own channel. Because I think once they get to the... Because one of the posts says they, they will kick out members. They can't tell if somebody's active or not. They can't. But they're going to kick out inactive members. And, um, once they reach a certain thousand member threshold, they're gonna, somehow they're putting this plan into place. I don't know. I, I think what it is, is dude gets people to invite a bunch of people to this group, and what he does is, he, your name is there, fucking, obviously, your fucking Facebook profile was invited. So, he looks up your name, or whatever, probably searches your name on YouTube. Nine times out of ten, like, if somebody subscribes to me, I subscribe back. That's, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. And I'm pretty sure this guy knows that. So what he's doing is he's just looking up everybody that gets invited. He's looking up their shit and probably trying to add them or we'll make a comment or something probably on a video or whatever to try to get, like, fucking subscribed to or something. I don't fucking know, but it was fucking, it, it seemed really, really fucking asinine to me. And, like, well, the whole group is, never mind, the whole fucking group speaks a different language. Well, I was thinking a lot about it this morning as I was re over, reading over the posts over and over again, trying to figure out what the fuck this guy is talking about. There's nothing that makes sense about it. So I left that, I left that, and, um, so I, I kind of just wanted to say, like, I know, like, whoever invited me, I don't, I, I don't know who invited me, but, like, maybe they thought that I n need some help or something. This is what I'm going to say. I don't give a fuck about a thousand subscribers. I don't. If a thousand people come to this channel and subscribe to it. That is the fucking dopest shit ever. Okay? That's not the goal. That's not my goal. Do Does everybody, you know, hope they can get 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers to maybe start making something back with what they put in? Yeah. But I don't need that to happen today. I don't need that to happen tomorrow. I don't need that to happen next week. It doesn't even need to happen this year. Because my goal is to make good music get heard. My goal is not to make money off you guys. So, this whole group that to help you get a thousand members or a thousand subscribers, I got no time for that shit. Um, I'm here for music, man. Like, I was telling my boy, I'm rocking his shirt right now, T-Dubs, when he was here telling me, you know, 
would I like to make a dollar off what I do? If I ever do, man, that's awesome. But that's not the goal. The goal is to get good music with substance heard by a lot of people. Now, I know my following on YouTube is kind of, is, I'm not going to say it's small, I got fit, guys, I just realized, I got 53 fucking subscribers, you guys are my family, a bunch of you have been rocking with me since day one, so, 53 subscribers, that's fucking dope, man, I never thought I'd get 12 fucking subscribers, you know? I just wanted at least one person to be able to see some good music and maybe change their mind a little, you know? That was the goal. Um, have I put a lot of fucking money into this project? You don't even know. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and price tag this shit. But it was for a reason. The reason wasn't to get a thousand subscribers and to get YouTube to pay me. That wasn't the fucking reason. When I seen that Crypt Cypher and all them dudes on it and they all fucking spit fire, I realized right then, well, I knew before that this is what I wanted to do, but I realized right then that I had to do this now. I had to do this now because they're, these guys need to be heard. They need to be heard now. So... With that being said, I just want all you guys to know that when I react to a song, I react, I pick, I pick songs to react to, I pick songs by, by people that I think are dope, people that I listen to a lot. I'll do reactions on some new shit that drops too, uh, on no, people that I've never heard of, like I reacted to Crip, um, and Lex Brasher, and I'm pretty sure she just dropped an EP, I haven't heard it, I won't check it out, cause if we're gonna react to it, it's gonna be a first reaction, you know what I'm saying, so, and that's what, that's the goal, man, that's the goal, new, new artists out here, making moves, doing good shit for the rap game, making good music, I just wanna get that shit heard, like my man Roman, my man Roman365, I don't think like a lot of people around me know about this style that like that they're stuck on the radio so my goal is to get them not stuck on the fucking radio and get them to hear dudes like Roman that's my only goal I'd like to change even if it's just a little fucking bit change the, the industry a little bit for our children and for the next generation of children to not man what what we call rap music right now it's not rap music man but what these dudes these independent dudes are bringing to the table this is rap music this is this is what the pioneers intended this if you go back to the 80s and the early 90s, there was only few groups or even just solo guys, gangster rapping, rapping about drugs and guns and violence and hoes and all that. There was like a handful of dudes. Back then, music was full of substance, full of meanings, full of passion. Now, it's like these kids... Want to pop a Percocet and write a song about popping a Percocet. Now listen, if anybody's ever popped a fucking Percocet, you know damn well there's no good feeling that comes from that. If you've ever taken a fucking Xanax bar, you know that there is no good feeling that comes from that. Is this the type of shit that we want our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids to continue to think is music? No. No. So... Like I said, and I'll say it again, my goal is to make real music, real rap music, get heard. That's my fucking goal. 
I'm glad y'all are rocking with me, man. If this shit lasts 10 years and it's still f the same 53 of y'all with me, man, I did, I did what I wanted to do. I did exactly what I wanted to do. So, we don't got no videos going up today, just this one. Um, but we probably are going to be recording tonight, so there's probably going to be something going up tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I just wanted you guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, because, I mean, I feel like everybody wants that, but that's not everybody's, that's not everybody's goal. That's not the end game for everyone, so, with that being said, man, I'm here for it. It's a wrap, y'all. Peace.